G'day YouTube. This is just a super simple, quick and unscripted review of the latest release of Kali Linux, uh, version 2018.2. So as a bit of an overview to this uh, distribution, it is known as the quote-unquote hacker distribution, although that's not really correct to say. It's really more the, the security-focused distribution uh, designed for penetration testing and things of that uh, nature in an enterprise environment. In fact, if I were to go up to the applications menu here, uh, you would see your usual applications down here, but before that is all this vulnerability analysis and testing and password, wireless attacks, things of that nature there, which is fantastic. That's why it's such a popular distribution. It just puts it all together in a very cool way there. So uh, let's see. Now, there has been a lot of updates since the previous release, which was version 2017.1, I believe. Most of those will be in the back end. It does look mostly the same in the front end here. Of course, we've got the GNOME desktop environment. And in fact, let's go to the file manager. Let's just check that that hasn't changed. It looks like the what's called the GNOME files, otherwise known as the Nautilus uh, file manager there. So nothing too much has changed there either. Fairly simple to use. Let's have a look at the kernel. Uh, hopefully, it's one of the later versions. Obviously, it's the latest release, and it is. So, it's almost the latest version of uh, the Linux kernel. I believe the latest version at the moment is 4.16. So, it's not too bad that this distribution of Linux has uh, 4.15. That's quite good to see. Uh, let's have a look at some of the, uh, the 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 hardware utilization. So, let's go across to uh, a, a system monitor here and have a look. So, straight off the bat, when I've just opened up the desktop environment, it's using uh, 950 megabytes or so of, uh, of of RAM, which isn't the best, it's definitely not the best uh, uh, distribution of Linux, unfortunately. Uh, and it's I wouldn't say it's one of the worst, but uh, some of them go up to 1.1, 1.3 uh, gigs of RAM, so it could be a little bit lighter, unfortunately. You, you always do have the option, as with any Linux distribution, to change the uh, desktop environment to something more suited to your needs, a bit more lightweight, but it does depend on what you're doing there. And uh, let's see, the update method, so if you want to install something by the terminal, I like to pop this in videos, all you need to do is type in the following, sudo apt install and the name of the uh, program. Now, I have a lock on one of my directories that I won't solve right now, but basically uh, the root command uh, for root privileges, should I say, the update method, which is app, the, the command you want to use, obviously, in this case, install, and uh, the, the name of the program you want to install, htop. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just thought I'd go through the uh, the desktop environment there a little bit. Uh, obviously, I won't go into all of these types of, uh, of security uh, analytical tools, things of that nature there, but um, they all exist. They're there, and oh, there's Wireshark. Most of us know that one. That's good. Forensics, etc., etc., etc. But uh, yeah, a lot of cool apps that you just don't see on a daily basis on most Linux distributions, uh, if at all, any other ones apart from this one. A very, very popular release and uh, super quick, simple and unscripted review. So cheers, guys. I hope you've enjoyed.